We've changed alignment and applied formatting styles like currency and percentages. Now we'll show you some more ways to change the appearance of our data. We'll begin by giving the heading more impact. We'll boldface the theater name and the worksheet title. We'll use the bold tool. There are also tools for italics and underlining. When we click on bold, the text displays in boldface. Now we want the theater name in a different font or typeface and bigger. We select the theater name. Here's where we can change the font and here the font size. We click on the font drop down arrow to display a list of available fonts. We scroll to display the one we want, Times New Roman. Then we select it and the font changes. We click on the font size drop down arrow to display a list of font sizes. We click on 14 and the name is larger. We also want the theater name to have a color. We can change the fill color, which is the color in the cell, or we can change the font color. The default font color is red. To choose a different color, we click on the drop down arrow to display color choices. There are lots of choices, but we like this one. When we click on it, it's applied to the text. Notice that it also becomes the default color, so if we wanted to use it again, we could just click on the button. Now we'll add a fill color to the monthly totals to make them stand out more. We'll use the default fill color, yellow. We click on it and then deselect the cells to see the color. Nobody's going to miss that. We'll finish improving our worksheet's appearance by adding a border. We want to add a border around these cells to focus attention on the sales amounts. This is the borders tool. The default choice is a bottom border for the selected cells. When we click on the drop down arrow, more border choices are displayed. We'll apply a thick outline around our selection. We choose that. Then we click outside the selected cells for a better look. There's our worksheet. It looks good and the information is clear and readable. We'll save our work now with the save button. We click on it and the workbook is saved. Excel has lots of other formatting choices you can use. You might want to spend some time looking at the features available on the format menu. One feature you might like is auto format, which offers a whole collection of pre-designed formats that you can apply in just a couple of clicks. 